This is the frame of a Boogaboo Fox, and today we're going to show you how to mount the newborn bag, the carry cot to it. This might be necessary if you have used this with the seat and now you're going to use the bag, uh, or you somehow bought it in a way where this is not attached. Uh, this process is a little more difficult than it's been in previous models of Boogaboo. What you're going to need to do, if you take the main fabric element of the bag and look right under the zipper, there is this uh, plastic uh, insert that has been sewed in and you're going to need to feed this into here on the frame where this um, groove widens out and then we're going to want to pull it all the way around the inside of the frame. So I'm going to flip this part around and then get this plastic insert here and again into where it's been widened and we're going to just slide it in and begin to push it and pull it through. Once you get it started, it's a little bit easier. I'm just going to pull it around. Until it's evenly distributed on both sides. Okay, then you're going to want to turn the frame around and the top part also functions with the sewed in plastic rib inside the fabric but in this case the trench uh, the groove is on the outside and it's widened here and this part's a bit tricky you want to make sure to pull it over the side and then put it in you want to get it a little bit on both sides and then pull up simultaneously so get it started and turn it around, get it started from the other side. And then you can pull up both sides, or pull tight, don't worry if it pulls up over the connector for the handle, you can deal with that later. You actually need as much give as you can take because the next part is to pull this over and pull the button through this hole. And that only works if it's fully up. You also want these to be uh, available for the next stage of the process. So you're just going to pull this all the way over and the button fits right through. These parts now, which will be uh, put, being put to use in a moment. But first, we're going to put the styrofoam base in. This is the head. This is the foot. The foot is where you have the zipper. I'm just going to slide it all the way in and press it down into the bottom. at it from underneath and want these buttons to pull through on both sides and we will attach these so the way these work is there's this uh, little plastic hook here and you're just going to slide it in like this this into place. Uh, you, at some point where you want to pack this down for travel, it's just a matter of unlocking this button at the bottom on both ends, because we're going to put one on the other side of the bag too. And then you can fold it flat. Okay, we're going to do the other side. The one for the other side looks a little bit different. And then again, just attaches in like this. locks in place on the button at this end. The top part of this supports onto this. It's like a like a Y and it's the, uh, the same on this side. 
but it's kind of hidden underneath, so you just have to push it until you feel it's, well, it's actually not like a Y on that side, but uh, and then it should be pushed on the inside so that it's tight. So there's the main part of the bag set up, and then we can put the mattress in place. Zip on the cover, there's two zippers. And you just want to pull it in through both of them. And then pull the lower zipper all the way around. the canopy. There is a hole in the canopy that also goes over the button. And then the last element it goes on the bag is the uh, what was the bumper bar on the seat and is now the handle for the bag it slots in the same place so again uh, they've made it a lot harder to mount the bag with this model but that's how you do it we hope this video has been helpful if it has been we ask that you subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future thank you